guys, it's Bex here and it's Work It Out Wednesday. I'm here with another challenge workout for you. Today we're doing a two round HIIT workout courtesy of Courtney from Sweet Tooth Sweet Life. It's an awesome blog, go check it out. But before you do, let's get this workout in. So this workout is made up of two rounds, each performed three times. Each round has four exercises performed for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. The first exercise is push-ups, so we're gonna get down on the ground, we're gonna set our gym boss timers, and we're gonna get started right now. So you can perform your push-ups in the traditional full push-up way. If you're not quite there yet, go ahead and drop your knees. Resist lifting up your feet here because what that's gonna do is counterbalance your weight and it's gonna make it way too easy. If you wanna make it a little bit easier on yourself but still keep that plank, you can move your arms out wider. There's lots of ways to do these, folks. We're almost there. And that's the first exercise. Let's move into high knees. So you're taking just 15 seconds in between to get ready for the next exercise. And you're gonna go right into it as soon as the beep starts. So high knees, if you're a beginner, you're just bringing your knees up all the way to your hands, waist level. This is really moving your lower, or moving. This is working your lower abdominals. They may move around a little bit while they're flexing. But if you want to ramp it up, you just go ahead and quicken the pace. Keep those hands up high. Back nice and tall and straight. Shoulders back. Looking straight ahead. Next exercise are plank to push-ups. I love these. We're gonna go into an elbow plank and then we're just gonna bring ourselves up into a high plank. So start nice and low and then come up. Remember to keep the abs tight and your body nice and straight from the tip of your head down to your heels. If you're not sure how to perform a plank correctly, you can watch my video that I'm gonna link below. Keep the pace, remember to breathe. Almost there. Last exercise, squat jumps. So we're just gonna go into a squat and then come up with a little hop. Not too hard, right? How you guys doing? You can also reach up. Stick that butt all the way back. Keeps your chest nice and high. Weight in the heels, sinking back nice and low. Woo, I'm getting tired. I'm feeling the burn. I probably shouldn't have been running all week. Shake it out, keep going. That was a rough one for me. That completes round one. If you repeat that two more times, for a total of three rounds and then we're on to the next four minute round. This next round is gonna start with mountain climbers and there's so many different ways that we can do these so I'm gonna show you right now, let's go. So mountain climbers, you can start with both feet jumping back and forth or you can just bring knees to chest. If you're a beginner, you can just come up and tap. Whatever feels good, make sure that those wrists 
and hands are right underneath your shoulders. Your abs are tight. And you're breathing. Drive those knees up to the chest. Okay, we're gonna go over to the tree. You're gonna grab a wall for a 45 second wall sit. So we're coming down into a squat, positioning your body flat up against the wall, shoulders back. 90 degree angle with your legs. Make sure that you're not pushing off on your legs with your hands. You can bring your hands up if that helps. Remember, shoulders up against the wall. I'm tree hugging today. Hugging the trees with my shoulder blades. To really be feeling a nice burn in your quads here. Three seconds to go. We got it. So we're gonna go down back onto our mats for some double crunches. It's like a reverse crunch. We're gonna be bringing our elbows up to our knees, which are now in a 90 degree angle. Toes flex back. Trying to get those hips up off the ground. Make sure that you're not pulling on your neck here. Maybe put your fingers behind your ears instead of interlacing them behind your head. Really squeeze in those lower abs where your belly pooch might be. Maintain good pace. Maybe tap the floor to ramp it up a little bit. And now we're on to the last exercise, which are just some fun fast feet. Look how dirty I get. Dirty, sweaty, sexy, right? So we're just gonna be moving our feet really fast for 45 seconds. As you can like pretend you're stepping on hot coals and it hurts. You're like, ow, 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 ow. Keep it going. Engage the abs. Again, we're working our core here. Make an ugly workout face. Keep it up. around whatever keeps it interesting Woo. there we go that was the second round again repeat that two more times for a total of three rounds this whole workout can take about 25 minutes and you're good to go for your whole day thanks for working out with me again guys I will see you around with another workout next week for more info on this workout or what I'm wearing, head on over to BexLife.com and remember to tell me how you did in the comments below. You can also click on the left for my latest video or on the right for another exclusive BexLife workout.